Hey everybody, it's day three of the Golden Goblet. We, we gotta mix up our characters here today. Hold on, take me out. Take me back to the main menu. I'm not saying that things went wrong there. I'm just saying, uh, you know, why, why not? You know what? I, I haven't done a run as Liz yet. Welcome. Welcome, Liz. Hope you're all having a fun time here. Have I done anything with respect to these yet? Oh, hey, there, there's somebody sleeping in that one. All right. Amazing. We're repopulating our world here, but you're not here for that. You're here for some Spelunky action. I believe it or not. So yesterday's episode, I'm not like insanely pleased with, but I'm not maybe as disappointed as you might have thought either. Thirty thousand is not a great score, and you could easily get that score pretty early on in the game. Um, but overall, I, th I thought, don't break this by accident. That's all I ask of you. Overall, I think we've been playing a, a stronger game than we might have expected based on how many runs uh, I've just yeeted out of nowhere in the in the other parallel YouTube series. The ghost gem kind of kind of freaks me out. I'm not gonna lie, but I definitely think it's worth taking. Especially, I mean, it's kind of like a no-brainer. I wanted to see if he'd throw it at me. Oh, good. You freed a poison scorpion. I wanted to see... Uh, oh, I, I want to... I mean, it's worth taking to the end, right? You get five grand out of it. That's, that's nothing, nothing to sneeze at. Yo, a compass, dude. Not really that relevant on these early floors, but, like, later on. Absolutely. Okay. Thought we could get that. Huge plays. We've deposited the dog. I'm gonna call it. That's actually the safest and, and actually most impressive first floor we've ever done. Now we got a, a nightmare situation here. An arrow trap right in front of the shop. Essentially, the only way to not aggro the shopkeeper but still buy things would be to have uh, Would be to have myself take the hit or another living thing take the hit <laughs> I'd really like to Okay, that's fine That sucked that sucked worse Turns out, we would have been better off just taking the hit. Turns out, we would have been much better off just taking the hit. He's coming down, huh? Oh, he's not coming down, brother. He's down. <laughs> but remember, it was just vandalizing. If you're just vandalizing... I think he doesn't stay aggroed. And then you know what else I'm gonna say, dude. Why not... Why not steal? While we're here, why not steal his stuff? This is a dumb idea. I got you on video. I got you on video. There you go. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Thanks. So there's positives and negatives. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have taken any aggression out on the shopkeeper, because now, like, you know... <laughs> he might be mad forever. On the other hand... We did get a cape and some bombs. I'll, I'll give it to you straight, by the way. We're not gonna... Oh, why wouldn't you just... Why wouldn't you just not come down here? You get a little gold, but you had to spend the rope to make it happen. I don't know. It's a little... It's a little goofy. That's all I'm saying. A little perturbed by how it's going. And, oh, dude, there's a Kali altar. So what are the, what are the steps to a victory in, in my world? So you can hold Monty and get on the, the turkey, huh? I don't know why I thought you couldn't. Probably because I never investigated it at all. <laughs> um, we want to trigger this arrow trap because it might get a little hot down here. I'm just trying to figure out 
wonder if we can... We might have to use a rope to get back up, but that's okay. I, I got big apple pie in the sky hopes here. High apple pie in the sky hopes. You grab Monty. You get on the turkey. So this, this is a huge floor for us. Potentially an enormous floor. You deposit Monty. You get, dude, the climbing gloves. That's an incredible get. And then you say, you know what? There's one turkey deposited. So with climbing gloves, I'm so stupid. With climbing gloves, we should just be able to get up there as we did. I still want the Kapala badly, I promise you that. I don't know if it's gonna be plausible, but it is definitely on the list of things that would be very nice right now. Well, we've almost matched yesterday's score, which is a scary thought, considering we're about two minutes into the video. Um, this should, yeah, I was, oh, so he's mad. He do be mad though. So I got a couple of plays here. The, the first one is, this is like my way out. Then I'm gonna throw this down. <laughs> Obviously we gotta work on our throw a little bit. He's definitely a little upset. That was not smart. It didn't free the ghost, which is just... I'm very thankful for that. <laughs> come on, come on. Okay. Who's the shopkeeper now, dummy? That's right, it's me. There you go! Let's go! Okay, that's big. That's big. Now, are we going to come back here and sacrifice all these bodies? Nope. <laughs> Forget the ghost gem as well. All right, we're out of here. Great work, team. You hear the beating of drums. You know what I haven't heard yet? Oh, you know what? I think that was the, that was the key floor, wasn't it? So we're a little bit less... Uh, well, we're, it's just not possible for us to go to the black market anymore. But that's okay. That's okay. Because we got a very weird run. We got a shopkeeper-driven... Shopkeeper killing run, which is not typically the way we've been doing business around here, but You know what? That's that's the way we're gonna be doing business in the future. If you got a problem with it, just say something So I need you because I don't want to waste too many bombs I want you to open these doors and then I blast the crap out of you. Oh My man is made of bombs. I really needed the HP. So that was like a, a given Dude, this one could be something special. It could also result in me slipping on like a patch of ice and falling down and losing. But this one feels like it has more earning potential than uh, than any of the other runs we've done, to my estimation so far. Had I'm sorry, Monty, but you, you know how it goes. All right, Monty, you actually are way better off up here, but I don't think you're gonna stay up there. Don't really want to spend the bomb. Keep him safe. Okay, so I'm I'm disappointed that I got Monty in the process, but I'm I'm also just mostly pleased to be alive. We'll take that as a as a positive. Um, definitely want the paste. Oh, that's big. That's big. So the paste fell straight down, but that's okay. Watch out, there's there's some spike traps over here. I don't think it's worth the gold, dude. No, I don't think it's worth the gold at all. Yo, it's okay, it's a pet store. This guy's not mad at me. But we also do not care for what he has on offer. I also do not care to test whether or not we can cape fall on the little spikes or only big spikes. And I'm gonna be honest with you. Don't care for you either. He jumped over the bullet. Don't care for you either. Look, I'm I'm a I'm a loner. I'm a rebel, Dottie. All right. So this I, again, 
I can at least pride myself somewhat that we have made it to the second biome a few times in a row. And then this is just Spelunky 101. What did I tell you? Yo, it burned through? Is that what happened there? Did it burn through? What's going on with... Okay, so we'll be leaving. <laughs> 3 HP is not amazing. What's going on in there? They're just chilling. Don't mess with them. They're not messing with you. Don't mess with them. Remember what Will Smith said in Men in Black 1. Don't start nothing, won't be nothing. Words to live by. We, we definitely want to try to take this key. Didn't it? We freed someone last time, right? But the, the only downside is that carrying multiple items in Spelunky is by design a bit of a chore. So, we do want to do it. But we also wouldn't mind seeing our key um, opening a lock as soon as possible. Like right down there, for example. Um, I hate the man-eater situation here. We could obviously just bomb beneath us. This man here is kind of a pain in the butt, huh? So, I, like, I have a whole game plan. You're just going to have to work with me. Looks like this. My game plan has failed me. That's what I was worried about, is stepping on the freaking thorns. But at least it's just thorns and not spikes. Now we're escorting three things. All that just to avoid a man-eater we probably wouldn't have been hit by anyway. So I'm going to make an executive decision. I don't care about the key that much right now. I care a lot about the gun. <laughs> and I care a lot about the HP. But I really don't want to get turned into a ghost and die. Um... I actually don't know what happened. Did I, did I run into the thorns? Monty must have been eaten or something. I mean, this is... This is nasty. We need this. You stick them and you run. Oh my god. It actually worked. But it's... You know, we're, we're in spooky town, USA. You know? Um... Where's Monty? What the heck did you do with Monty, dude? We really kind of needed that HP desperately. <laughs> um, they're all they're all traps. They're all traps. Okay, very very good resolve. Once you realized it was going wrong. Oh, so a mosquito can fly through the spikes. I see how it is, dude. I don't know if we want to go across here. The, the thorns on the roof are too dangerous. Oh my, Lanta. It sucks here. Uh, He's gonna fall on the spikes. Also, nice drip. He's got like a, a weird shotgun. Seems less potent. I might be wrong. I got an idea. This might get me killed. But I'm gonna do it before I have time to think myself out of it. Sixty-seven thousand five hundred and seventy-five. I'm gonna throw one more run in on the top of that. I think my own gun fell on me or something, or maybe I stepped on some thorns. I don't know. So this does not count. If you're not familiar with the rules of the Golden Goblet, this does not count for for gold purposes or for for like you know, it's not official. Okay, I'm not trying to make it a, a whole big deal, but um, yeah, that's not how you do that. I tell you, that is not how you do that. What was the point of this? Uh, to avoid taking two damage to an arrow trap, of course. So I could get Monty. It's alright, we're still fine. You know what? Gotta get you out of there. It's all about consistency. There we go, that's what we're trying to do. So I want to have another good run, if possible. And that's what we're trying to set up here. I would much rather use a rope still. 
I don't know if I'd rather use two ropes, but we're kind of sunk in on part of this already. Um, is there a way down? There is a way down. Could have placed the bomb better for gold purposes, but... I'm just having a lot of fun with Spelunky 2, and to be honest, this is my last video I'm recording tonight, so I don't want it to end. Plus, I'm like, you know, a 15-minute Spelunky 2 video? Sure. A 13-minute Spelunky 2 video? Ew! Yo, I'm very glad we went through the rest of this floor. Changed the game for us in a big way. Lots of gold. Free diamond for an extra five grand. I love the addition of the ghost pot. It's like, it's pretty minor. But also very cool. Okay, uh, if you'll excuse me. No, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is you gotta watch out for the spider there. What was that whip? You know, why is this guy? Hmm. Oh, this is a nightmare zone. Let me, come on, bring me back. Let me be, let me be. Don't come up, don't come up. Look, the pigeon, or not the pigeon, the, the freaking turkey's right next door, dude. I don't know why you're being weird about it. There you go, it's right there. Can I take your pot? Is that okay? Can I take your pot? Do you mind if I take, okay, I've taken his pot. Taking the man's pot. Was it worth it? Absolutely not. I do not see another turkey. I remain skeptical. 20 grand. You know we're buying the present. Okay. Overpaid by 3 grand there. Spring shoes, we love to see them. Yo, it's our other turkey, dude. I'll, I'll use ropes for that. Just chill. Stop it! Oh my god. Turkey. Dude, I, at least I just realized that I'm not taking the damage for most of those, or maybe any of those. The turkey's taking the damage, but still. It was a bit miserable. Should probably prioritize better next time. But you know what? This is a big this is a big switch for us. Potentially a pretty big uh, change in our score coming as a result of this. Oh, and a crate. A crate and a chest. Got some ropes. It means we don't have to buy ropes if we don't want to. I'm like, uh, I feel like we're doing pretty well in Spelunk. We're doing much more consistently than we used to. We, were, we went through a period of, of relatively poor consistency. I mean, there haven't been too many periods of the game, considering that it, it's not even in stores of, uh, officially as of the time of this recording. But, you know, in, I would say this is more of our gold period. But we went through many red and brown periods, for sure, in advance, where there was lots of blood and we won't talk about what else. Okay, we're free. I like the spring shoes so far in this game. I don't know if they got Infinity Gauntlet status by Dan's standards, but I, I do like them. Okay, there we go. Easy Ujedi. Don't disturb this yet. Okay, that's an arrow trap. We're not going. We did it again. Just, just honestly, lack of confidence led to a lack of execution. What do you got in here? We definitely would love to pick up bombs. They might cost more than 10. Because we're on one floor further than usual. They're 11. We can afford it, but let me see here. Can we... No, it's different key. Okay. We'll definitely buy the bombs. Not great for our score. Very good for our survivability. wonder where our other key could be. Maybe you gotta, like, look for it in the, in the other world here? I don't have an answer for you either way. No Monty either, huh? All right, well, moving on. And and feeling solid. Maybe we could at least get some black market going on here. You'll hear the beating of drums. Well, I'll tell you, with 17 bombs... Uh, I'm sorry. 
It won't be the first, uh, isn't the first time, it won't be the last time, I promise you that. Oh, you tricked me! You tricked me because I got greedy, how dare you. Okay, I got spring shoes. So I'm not, you're not all that in a bag of potato chips anymore. Are you impressed? I think we should just bail. I don't know, killing that guy gives you bombs. But I don't know, I, like, I don't want to kill him with whips. But I, I I feel like if you can get projectiles and just, you know, yeet them at him. Oh my god. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's working. Come on over. Come on over. He bled for some reason? He's having a bad day. I don't know what, what happened there. I don't know what happened, but... Either way, we're free. Hello, hired help. I, I don't really... I'm just being honest. Hired help is not meant to be disrespectful. But I don't really respect you. Which is why I'm gonna leave. <laughs> oh, no! Can you tame these things? I know you can buy them. It seems like a terrible opportunity to tame them. Considering there's two right next to a big pit of lava. Hey, you you go try it. Alright, now it might be possible. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. You know what I just realized? That dog has eyeballs, and what I thought were that dog's eyeballs are actually its teeth. How about that? For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. GoldenGobble.net. See ya.